Hi and welcome to a quick video on how I use a Google Sheet to track my TuneZ data and how you can do that also. If you are a music composer, producer and write music for film or TV and you'd like to know how your music performs on TV, then use a service like TuneZ and uh, track your music in there and it'll give you a list of all the usages. Um, and yeah, then you can take that data put that into my sheet. Um, I have the template for you linked below in the caption. And um, then you can just use that and go onwards. So let me just show you how the uh, sheet looks. So I've um, hidden my payment stuff, uh, just so you know, but all the other data is like real data here. So at first I've got a like a global dashboard here. I can see my total placements, how many tracks I've got in my inventory, how many placements per track. Um, I can see my top tracks and the number of placements they have. I can see my PRO payments, how everything performs. I can see placements per quarter, placements per month, um, which album performs best. I can see which publisher performs best. Um, over the course of the time. Um, so yeah, I can see the top 10 tracks based on like density. This is like a ranking because um, it is kind of difficult to say if like one publisher has 10 tracks and the other has 100 tracks, uh, then obviously the one with 100 tracks will have more overall placements, but maybe the uh, per track placement rate is lower. Um, so yeah, this kind of compensates that and just tells you which track is performing best and lowest and also which publisher is like performing best based on the amount of tracks they have. Um, which is also because like BMG, I've only done one track for, but they have placed it quite a lot uh, on TV. So they are <laughs> on place one before the other publishers I work with. And then I can see a list of all the tracks that haven't got a placement. So yeah, quite annoying if, um, but it can also be like freshly made tracks or not released tracks. So yeah, I always have this with a bit of caution. And down here I can like choose a track on the list and um, see all the uh, data uh, relevant to that track. So I can see like, okay, Arrival uh, published by Warner, on the album Hyperion 2018 with 19 placements, which isn't that much, but hey. And I can see the placements here, scroll through them. I, I can see how this track performed over time. So yeah, um, let me get into the template um, that has some uh, test data in there. So this is not the real data. Um, when you open the sheet, you'll find uh, like a manual here on the welcome page. Um, go through it point by point um, and you should be fine if you also like follow this uh, tutorial here. So I'll just hide that sheet because we don't need that. Um, okay, firstly, read the manual before you do anything. Um, kind of obvious, but um, if you're like me, you just jump straight into things without reading anything. Uh, please do not do that here just because um, you might mess up stuff and uh, you'll regret that. And just take two or three minutes to read through this. Have a look at everything before you continue doing anything. So this sheet is not mobile optimized. Um, so use a PC or Mac or a big tablet to view and edit it. Um, not on your phone, please. Second is, I um, <laughs> I have created this over a course of multiple weeks, and um, but I uh, do not guarantee for any errors. <laughs> so yeah, maybe there are some mistakes in the code, I don't know, but um, it works fine here. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, not guarantee for anything, obviously. Um, please use the tabs at the bottom to navigate the sheet. So you've got dashboard, copy paste sheet, tunes up reports, inventory, and PRL payments. So just use these here um, to navigate the sheet. Um, the sheet contains a few scripts um, that are like behind the sheet. Um, so when first running a script, Google will ask for permission to run the script. So you'll have to grant that and it'll um, never pop up again after that. But after you give permission, you need to rerun the script, just so you know. 
And um, yeah, once you've had a look at everything, just press this knob. Uh, this will be the first time you'll have to give permission to the script, but this kind of resets the sheet and just deletes all the test entries I've put into this. Next step would be to add your tracks to the inventory page. So you've got this inventory here, um, track title, publisher, album title, year, and custom info. Um, just throw in anything you want into the custom info. I've like put some examples here, like if you've got additional songwriters on the track, or you want to know the BPM key, or when it's going to be published, or who is it featuring, then throw everything into here. It's just a random info box for you to like uh, see what you did. But other than that, track title, obviously you need to put in a uh, publisher, I would recommend to album title. If you haven't got an album, put single or just put a dash, I don't know. And year published is also um, good to know because some things are based on that also. Okay, next step would be add your PRO payments to the um, PRO payments page. These are example entries again. Um, just put in the date, put in the payment. Don't um, put any like dollar signs or here. Just, just I don't know, press 100 and it should format automatically. Just so, you, just so you know, you can also double click this and you'll have a calendar view. Yeah, so this should be all formatted for you already. Um, next step would be to add your TuneZat entries um, that you find on your TuneZat account. We'll go through that in a second. And first time you um, edit the sheet, you need to like delete um, some rows. I'll show you in a minute, um, just because I've got these test entries here. And um, yeah, it, uh, the script kind of works like adding new rows. So when deleting the test entries, those will be blank and it'll like disturb everything. So I'll guide you through that, no worries. Okay, let's get started. Like, let's uh, first uh, copy paste this just somewhere so I can work with a <laughs> new sheet without having to uh, delete the template stuff. Okay, now let's press that reset button. So you'll find a prompt here like a script is running and Google should open a pop up. Yeah. Okay, authorization needed, just press OK. Um, you'll have a new um, account. You'll need to sign it to your Google. You'll have to press on expand here, go down here and press uh, open anyway, and press OK here. So yeah, you've granted permission, permission, so you need to like rerun the script now again. Clear data confirmation, just uh, because I mean, you could run the script uh, anytime afterwards. So I added this uh, little reminder here that this can't be undone. Um, just press yes, and then everything should uh, be blank in a second. Script is kind of being done. Okay, this is empty, this is empty. Aha, I need to adjust the script to delete that info too. I'll do that in a second, but the tutorial should be the same. Okay. So let's start by adding um, tracks to the inventory. So I'll be using tracks I wrote for RIPQ music, just as an example, I'm copy pasting them from a different sheet into here now. Um, it is different formatted. So I'll just uh, like reset this whole stuff. So this is um, everything I did for a publisher called RIPQ music. Um, I'll copy paste that here. And the albums are also just copy paste from the other sheet. Okay, year published. Um, don't know if I have that in the other sheet. Yeah, I do. Perfect. Okay, I'll just copy that over too. and custom info, I'll just leave blank. Okay, so I've got like the first set of tracks in the inventory sheet here. Um, but yeah, take your time, put everything into here. Also put stuff into here that may have no placements yet because also very interesting to see what doesn't perform as you wanted it. Okay, next step, 
uh, copy pasting your tune that entry. So I'll just put tune that here. I'll, um, I don't know, let's work with a hundred entries. So I'll just drag and drop everything just, just uh, from here. I'll press copy paste, copy C, control C to copy. I'll put that on here, like just follow the arrow. <laughs> so first step would be delete alt entries. I don't have any entries in here, so I can skip that. Second step would be now manually add your entries beginning on B3, which is this field here. Um, so I'll just copy paste that here. And when copying over to tunes add, um, kind of some things don't get aligned. So this starts here at D. And if I would like copy paste new entries here, um, then some would also be here. Maybe we'll just try that with uh, like a second page. I'll just add some more. Okay, let's just grab stuff from the second page and just put that into the next row here. So yeah, as you can see, this starts here again, this uh, starts here. So always paste in column B um, and don't bother about things not being aligned because you can just press the third step and things will get aligned. Um, just wait a second. Yeah, we'll just wait until stuff um, has reached the bottom and then I'll just stop the script. Okay, so the script has stopped and uh, we have all of our entries aligned in these first stuff. So now uh, next would be because like in tunes that I have the label name in the file name, I have the track name, I have like the version and um, also .mp3 or .wave in there. And what I need is only the track titles. So these come here. So you could like manually just write man on fire here and you would be good to go. Um, or you use the title comparison button, which basically scans the inventory page, which is why you have to fill in that information before. And then it like uh, uses that to uh, compare this title with that one here. So let's just go through it and double check that everything has been um, done correctly. I'll just like quickly scan it. Um, looks good so far. Don't see any errors or I would just uh, manually update them. Well, kind of looks all. All okay, so I don't have any black ones here, so I haven't forgotten any titles. Perfect. Okay, last step, um, add entries to the list. So I'll just run that and I'll go to the tunes that report page and you can like see that stuff has been added to the list. And yeah, you can see because of these empty rows, stuff has kind of been moved onwards. Um, so I'll just manually, uh, Take that and move it upwards. Uh, just copy paste that here. Also this row here. You won't have to do that again, just the first time. So don't worry. Um, it's just because there are these empty rows at the top. Um, so now take the empty rows at the bottom and just delete them. And you won't have to do this again. So if you're adding new entries, they should all be added at the bottom, okay? Um, if you are unsure if you've maybe um, added the same data twice, you can run the delete doubles script, so um, which basically just compares all the rows with, uh, with each other and then deletes anything that has been added double. Okay, this is basically how you add those. I'll just run the delete alt entries uh, script again, just um, so this is blank again. And now we should be able to go into the dashboard and yeah, we need to add some uh, fake, uh, some fake stuff here like uh, 2020, 2021, 
2022, 2023. So I'll just like say, okay, $100, $500. Let's be optimistic and stuff goes up. <laughs> and now in your dashboard, I'll add, sorry, I'll add 2024 to. So 2024, which is the current year we're in, um, just because there's a um, single one for that. Um, so yeah, basically I can see the total number of placements, uh, 200 so far. I've added, uh, for 84 tracks in the inventory, which would be an average uh, placement rate of 2.38. I've added fake, uh, PR payments of a total of 5,000. Um, and this year I have calculated 2000 so far. Top tracks would be Hybrid Snake, Trace Within, Staying in Darkness. If I want to see more top tracks, I just click the edit button and like say, give me the top 10 tracks. Um, I'll just update that and then you'll see top 10 tracks. Okay, PR payments going up as I put them in just now. Placements per quarter, well, I only added two quarters so far, so don't expect too much here. Um, placements per month, I mean, I just added a very small amount of data. So yeah, this is basically uh, that. I can see that the album Thrill is performing better than the singles. Um, the publisher per quarter, well, obviously I only added one publisher. So um, yeah, as you can see here, I have all my publishers in here and the sheet is populated quite uh, a bit better. So next would be the ranking part. So I can see which tracks here um, are performing best and which tracks are performing the worst. Okay, so I haven't got any data here yet, which um, is not a problem because it's a publisher ranking, I think. And uh, I only have like one publisher so far. Um, so nothing to rank. Um, placements, tracks with no placements would be those here. Um, then I can go into this list and like manually select a track. I can see how many placements I have from which year this is the album. I can look into the placements and I also can see how this track performed or I can like use a different track and see how those performed. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically the sheet. Um, feel free to follow the link in the description below. Um, and use it for your own needs. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, take care and happy analyzing.